Hello, it is Monday again. It is the Juneteenth federal holiday Monday. Welcome to the Monday Minute. I'm Rita Ernst. I am the author of Show Up Positive. And today we are celebrating Juneteenth by talking about this Show Up Positive spark, freedom. And I don't want to make light of freedom. I don't know if you've uh, taken time to learn the story because it certainly was not taught to me in school. I've had to learn it um, in the last couple of years, but it was over two years after the Emancipation Proclamation that um, people in Texas, slaves in Texas, were finally informed of their freedom. And um, that is what we are celebrating, um, is this delayed emancipation that occurred um, that really, truly was bringing an end to slave ownership. And so freedom is such an important element of, of that whole story of slavery. But I want to take freedom into another context with you today and talk about freedom in the workplace, because it is an important part of what is required for people to really feel connected and committed to the workplace. So here's just a few thoughts that I want to give you about freedom. One is I had an experience late in my career, shockingly late in my career, where I had an employer who required everyone to attend Dress for Success. And we were given a prescription. Women's hair was to be a certain length once you, you know, depending on your age. You were to wear certain kinds of jewelry. You were to um, wear certain kinds of shoes and clothing. And, and men were supposed to wear cufflinks and jackets. And there was just all of this crazy amount of should, 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 shoulds that were imposed upon people in this training. And um, I am so happy that we have moved past that place in corporate America where we need these cookie cutter step for wife solutions and that we can embrace people where they are. But that's freedom number one, the freedom to show up and be who you are, whether that is with piercings or tattoos or um, colorful hair like mine. I just had a little girl this weekend ask me if um, my hair is colored. Of course, it's colored. Um, and, and I enjoy changing my look with the color of my hair. It's part of my self-expression. And that's what freedom is about. Freedom is about the ability to be yourself and to self-express and still belong as a result of that, to still be welcomed, uh, not in spite of that, but because of that. That is true freedom. And everyone wants this freedom in their workplace. And the other way I want to talk about freedom in the workplace is freedom to really bring your whole potential into the workplace. And again, we've seen movement in this direction, and certainly remote work is helping with this. But oftentimes, employers want to get very prescriptive about how employees do each and every step of their job. And, you know, one of the places where this happens in the worst possible way is in our education system, where we take freedom away from teachers to really engage with their students in ways that are going to speak to that particular classroom. We're trying to make it formulaic. And you know what? Kids are not formulaic. And then we get frustrated because teachers are not successful teaching while we're not allowing them to be successful when we are taking away their freedom to read the needs of their classroom and respond appropriately. And this is true in every workplace. People need to know the goals. We need very clear alignment together around what we are trying to achieve. The what is so important. And some boundaries are helpful so that we know within these boundaries, whatever we choose to do is acceptable. The rest is all freedom. So the what and some boundaries that are all people who are professional, who are skilled, who are knowledgeable need, 
And the rest should be their freedom to get to that outcome within those boundaries that you set. And when you provide this level of freedom, you are saying to your employees, I trust you. I value you and your expertise. And I see all the potential in you. There's so many signals that are there in freedom. And so that's why today's word is freedom, why we're focusing on the word freedom. And I am encouraging you to really work on your own practice of freedom this coming week. How are you expressing freedom in the workplace? How are you making it safe psychologically for people to show up as their full selves and still be welcomed and have belonging? How are you giving clear what and boundary context to people around you and then giving them freedom to choose the how to get to the results that you agreed upon. These are the things that we're going to work on this week. Thank you for joining me for the Monday Minute. I know it's a holiday for many of you. So if you're tuning in late, please hit the hashtag replay. I so appreciate you being with me today for another episode of the Monday Minute. I am sharing all kinds of information on my social channels about the book release last week uh, for Show Up Positive, which is right here. You can get your copy now. Unfortunately, Amazon is having some kind of issues. So forget about Amazon. Please order from Barnes and Noble, or I have a local bookstore, Carmichael's. I'm sure you could go to your local bookstore as well and order the book but you can get uh, the digital as well as the paperback book delivered to you right away. And please help me spread the word right now. The most important thing I need to do is have more people learn about show up positive. So you can help me out. You, my, my listeners, my supporters, thank you so much. Please make sure that you are sharing. And if you are in the Louisville area this Thursday evening, We are gathering at Bourbon's Bistro. I'm providing the food and entertainment. Uh, It's a cash bar and you can come join me. We'll have books for sale there so you can get a copy of the book. I'll be signing copies for folks and a few other fun surprises in store as well. It's an open house style event. Uh, We're starting at 530 in the evening. We'll wrap it up around eight, if not sooner. But I would love to um, have you... Try some of the delicious food at Bourbon's Bistro on Frankfurt Avenue if you have not been there yet and come join us. It's just going to be a lot of networking and connecting with other business leaders in the in the Louisville metro area. So I would love to have you and I am encouraging you to invite three or four guests to bring along with you. Let's just have a big, huge turnout and a lot of fun together. Again, thank you for joining me for the Monday Minute. This week's Show Up Positive Spark is freedom. And I can't wait to hear from you and how you are able to bring that into your daily life and your workplace throughout this coming week. It's the start of summer, folks. Tomorrow is it. Tomorrow is the summer solstice. It will be the longest daylight hours of the whole summer. So get out there and enjoy. And I'll see you again next Monday for the next episode of the Monday Minute. Bye.